Weather Authority forecast. Welcome back, everyone. Chief Meteorologist John Mayer here, and it has been a pretty wild month so far, and I'm going to try and prove it to you right now. What we've been looking at, blue is below average, orange above average, and white is right around the number. So we started off pretty warm, cooled back down. We had a week of those blue temperatures, a little bit cooler, and now back into the orange. We've been bouncing all over the place, and to put it into perspective, we actually had temperatures in the 30s. Those are highs just last week and then into the 70s today. Now, that is a massive change over just one week, nearly 40 degrees, yet it's nothing compared to what we're going to see over the next couple of days. We've got plenty more of that up and down weather, but this time we're going to see temperatures go from near record highs on Friday down into the 30s by the time we hit Sunday. So this is just as big of a change over the course of three days. So get ready for a wild ride moving forward. And the first step in all this is our front that we're seeing just off to our northeast. This is going to start to push down overnight tonight, and once it does, it gives us a chance to see a lot of cooler air start to seep down from the north. Temperatures are going to drop out there, and we get a chance to actually see some freezing lows making a return into the basin. In fact, we're already starting to see those numbers dropping down near the 30s up around Borden County, 40s for most of us across the basin, and we are definitely going to see a lot of cooler air beginning to make its way in with that chance for some freezing lows right along in north of I-20. That's our best chance to see a freeze out there. But the big question then becomes, do we have anything else other than the freezing temperatures? What about a little bit of rainfall? Well, thankfully, it looks like we're going to see not a whole lot of activity. The only real rain that we're looking at comes way down to the south, down around Del Rio, Dryden. There is still a slight chance we could pull a little bit of that into the basin. If we do, getting any rainfall combined with those freezing temperatures could lead to some icy patches out there on bridges. But I think it's pretty unlikely. It looks like most of this is going to stay way down to the south. That's what the models have been showing day after day, and it's just not enough moisture out there to support any widespread activity. But still, tomorrow brings some pretty big changes, especially when it comes to temperatures. Those freezing lows overnight tonight in the northern basin, really not warming up too much into the afternoon. This is our chance to see a little bit of December making its way back into the viewing area, and it's right around I-20 that we sort of see that dividing line starting to warm up just a bit more down to the south, and especially when you get into the Trans-Pecos, that's where we start to see overnight lows getting into the 40s, those highs starting to creep up near the 70s, and aside from a few freezing lows and higher elevations down into the Davis Mountains, we're going to be looking at some warmer temperatures down to the southwest as well. That front really doesn't make much of an impact that far down to the south, but the real big change is going to be Friday. That's when we have a chance to set record highs. We're looking at about 78 degrees for our high temperature by the end of the work week. Record, only 80. We're going to be pretty close to meeting that mark, and that is the sort of heat that's coming back around before we see a major drop down. This is not anything that, well, we've really experienced a whole lot of so far with that big of a change in such a short time. Thankfully, for the time being, things are looking fairly calm. Just a couple of clouds out there right now. They're continuing to move through off into the northern part of the viewing area primarily. That's where we're looking at most of that cloud cover. Just some high clouds, not going to have too much of an impact tonight, but again, that slight chance for some rain down to our south into the overnight hours and especially tomorrow morning down around uh, Dryden near Terrell County. Then we get that heat on Friday and then doesn't last long. Sunday dropping down into the 30s for highs, looking at sub-freezing lows all the way down into the 20s Sunday morning and that continues right on into next week. The good news is we're not seeing any widespread icy conditions, none of that real winter weather uh, like how we had that bit of snowfall last week, thankfully not showing up on the seven-day forecast, but still plenty of cold air to go. It has already been a pretty crazy start to the month, and that doesn't look to end anytime soon. We have